Hey everyone, it's Houndex here, and in today's video, I'm going to be showing you a few tips and tricks I use to optimize Windows to boost FPS significantly. I've been getting a bunch of comments of people having trouble optimizing their computers or they're suffering from low FPS. So in today's video, we're going to be covering all over that, and we're going to be boosting FPS in Windows by changing some settings. But before we get into the video, as always, if you find it helpful in the end, remember to leave a like down below. And if you're feeling generous, you can also subscribe to the channel. So the first tip I'm going to be showing you guys is going to involve the task manager. We're going to be basically disabling some start programs which may affect performance. Now this is one of the top reasons why computers have been slowing down over time as you install more programs because they may boot up automatically if you don't disable them and they could just be running in the background taking up system resources. So in order to get to the task manager, the quickest way is to right click on your taskbar and click task manager. Now it will look something like this if you never used task manager before so you want to go ahead and click more details if you see this and it should look something like this you should see some like more advanced stuff right here now go into the startup tab and as you can see there's going to be a bunch of apps you may have more or less than me but you're going to want to basically disable every single app you don't want starting up when you boot up windows so for example i don't really want microsoft team booting up when i log into windows because i just want to open it when i feel like it now don't disable stuff that you you don't really know about because i'm not going to disable ear trumpet because i actually want that to start up every time i boot up windows when you're done you can just go ahead and close out of the task manager so the next few tips i'm going to be showing you guys will be in the windows setting app in order to get into the windows setting app you have to left click on your start menu and click the settings right here and then in the first section, we're going to go into the gaming. And right here, starting off, we want to disable game bar. This basically increases input lag and it takes up a lot of your system resources. So I highly recommend you disabling this option if you don't use game bar. And you can also uncheck this option. For captures, just disable everything here. I just set everything to the minimum. And I turned off all the switches right here. For game mode, this is a pretty important option. For most people, you might as well turn it off if you have a pretty decent computer. But if you have a very old computer, then you may want to turn this on. But I have it off. Now you're going to head over to the graphics setting right here. For this option, you may not see it if depending on your PC. But if you do see this option, you may want to turn it on. But I'm going to leave it off because I don't really benefit from this setting. This Basically, this will reduce latency and performance. But if you don't really see much performance improvements or if your latency doesn't get decreased, then it's best to leave it off. Now, if you prefer to set an application to a higher priority, you could browse for a certain game. And you could place it in the section to prioritize it. So, in order to do that, you want to select desktop app, click browse, and I'm going to choose Minecraft. This is the app. It doesn't show up here. You want to go ahead and right click the shortcut and click copy. And then you want to go ahead and the file name, hit control V to paste it. And then click add. And then right here, you want to go to options and set it to a high performance, which is going to be using your graphics card. And this will prioritize your system to put more of your the system resources into this application, so you'll be getting more FPS. Now, once you're done with that setting, you're gonna to to go ahead and head back into the main menu. And next, we're gonna go into privacy. And this is another setting I highly recommend you change. So scroll down to app permissions and you want to scroll all the way down when you find background apps. And by default, this will be on. So what you're going to want to do is disable it. I highly recommend you turning this switch off because this will free up a ton of your memory and will basically free up a lot of your system resources so you can have, get more FPS and you can reserve those system resources for your games. Now once you're done updating your GPU drivers and they have successfully finished, I highly recommend you restarting your computer before continuing in order to avoid any issues such as game crashes because this has happened before to me when I forgot to restart my computer. Now once you're done, you want to head over to one of these folders depending on which kind of graphics card you have. Like I said before, you could check using the task manager to see what kind of graphics card you have. For me, I have NVIDIA 
So I'm going to choose this folder. And you want to go ahead and open this image. By the way, it's credits for Adam X for creating this. You just want to copy all these settings in the NVIDIA control panel. If you're not sure how to head over to the NVIDIA control panel, all you have to do is right click on your desktop, click NVIDIA control panel. And then when it's open, you want to head over to manage 3D settings. And then it should look just like this. You just want to copy every single one of these settings like it's shown right here. Now changing these settings will offer a significant FPS boost and is one of the most important steps. So just copy everything right here and you should be good to go. So if you want to know what these settings do and why I should change them, I already made a whole other video on optimizing the Lenovo Legion 5, which is a laptop, and that video involved changing the NVIDIA control panel and optimizing it. So if you want a more in-depth explanation in what settings to change and why you should change them, then I highly recommend you watching that video and I'll drop that in the description below. If you're more advanced, you can also unhide the silk smoothness. This is a registry file. In order to run this registry file, you just want to double click on it and then click yes and it should be added to your registry AMD and Intel are very general just copy the images shown right here and if you want to make sure that all these optimizations are taking effect just restart your computer again and then continue on with the video next we're going to be updating our visual studio redistributables now you want to go ahead and double click this to run now i've already basically installed this so it won't let me do it again but if this application is outdated you may want to use the updated download link right here now we're going to get into the more advanced methods if you don't really know much about computers i highly recommend you do some research before trying out these methods we're going to start off with disabling the anti-malware service executable so this batch file is created by adam x so credits go to him now what anti-malware service execute it's basically the windows defender now i highly recommend you disabling it because it takes up so much of your resources and it takes up a lot of your memory and it's pretty annoying so i highly recommend disable it and not only will it free up memory it will also free up some cpu usage and overall increase a decent amount of fps now you want to go ahead and drag this disable anti malware service executable file make sure it's the registry file where it says registry entries go ahead and drag this onto the power run thing and then it'll open show this thing now click yes and then click ok if this doesn't end up working out for you and you want to re-enable the anti malware service executable you can drag this option where you can re-enable it into the power run and I'm going to click no because I want to disable it, but if you want to re-enable it, then this is the method. Now next, we're going to uninstall OneDrive, which is another advanced method. This is another script, but this is created by Brightech, not Adam X. This will basically uninstall OneDrive if you don't use it. OneDrive is pretty annoying. It does It is considered telemetry, and it does take up some of your resources if, if it runs in the background. So I just recommend you uninstalling it if you don't use it. The script is really safe, I've used it many times before, and it hasn't affected my other uh, applications like Microsoft Word or Excel, so you should be fine when running the script. Now, before doing so, make sure you right click on it and click run as administrator. And then, this will basically start one uninstalling OneDrive, but I'm going to quickly cancel it because I've already done it. One thing I should mention is that do not run this script more than once. If you have already uninstalled OneDrive and it's not on your computer right now, do not run the script because this may break Windows. And once you have ran this script to uninstall OneDrive and it's been completely removed from your computer and you have not reinstalled it, then do not run the script again because it will also break Windows. And I did this once before and it pretty much messed up my installation. So that's going to be it for today's video. If you guys found it helpful, remember to leave a like down below. And if you're interested in this type of content, you can also subscribe to the channel. I want to thank all of you guys for the, all the support for helping me reach 1,000 subscribers. And yeah, I'll see you all in the next video.